Hi everyone, just wanted to share this video with you. Um, so this is a second page of a two page spread um, and I started out by trying to use a Tim Holtz stencil to create a little bit of a um, background with those love hearts but it didn't turn out so well so I ended up with this um, other piece of green paper that I had which wasn't a full 12 by 12 that I thought I would use um, uh, to create a full 12 by 12 so using that floral print there I'm just going to um, use my ruler to stick it down where I'll end up with a full page so um, yeah rather than uh, trying to use another 12 by 12 I had this piece there and thought that it would be sturdy enough to do that so you can see I'm adding the tape down either edge and then if I peel that off and fold it over I can use my ruler to line it up and both edges will be adhered nice and firmly. Um, so I just ended up using um, gesso through the stencil to create those love hearts and um, I've got this floral print from Chamel's Starshine collection that I'm actually um, sticking down there. Now I found that the gesso was quite stark on the background um, so I end up getting out some of my Distress inks and I think I end up using Bundled Sage just to tone down those love hearts a little bit and give a little bit of a shadow effect behind it. It was really just to help it blend into the background because it is really meant to be a bit of a background. Um, I created this layout for uh, Mercy Tiara's uh, International Scrapbooking Day Challenge weekend um, where you were to create your own background and th these um, or this stencil's fairly new to me and I really wanted to use that to include it in the background so just toning that down with that bundled sage as I said and then I'll start thinking about where my photo is going to go um, so I just want to add a little bit of a mat to the photo just so that it lifts off the page a little bit and doesn't blend into the background so I'm just sticking that down now um, and then I've also got that cut apart sheet off to the right hand side um, that I'm going to use for my journaling box and so I'll think about laying the photo and that down at the same time so I get the placement right. Um, the actual uh, design of this layout originally came from a Glitter Girl um, video. Um, it was one of her sketches that she used in a layout. So if I can uh, locate that video, I'll include it in the link in the description box below. Um, and I've created another layout uh, using the same sketch um, and using the floral pattern as well so I found that I'm not a huge user of uh, floral papers um, but the each of the Chamel collections has come with um, a sort of similar design floral paper and so I quite liked the, the way the first layout turned out using the floral so I decided that I would um, try and use a similar kind of sketch so I'm just playing around with that end I want to include it in my title um, but I can't get the placement right at the beginning so I end up um, just pushing it off to the side and hoping to come back to it later. Um, and really what I'm looking to do at the moment is just sort of get those bare elements down and in place and then I can start thinking about how else I'm going to uh, decorate the page. So one of the things I did do for the video was just to create some embellishments. Um, all of them are stuck together except for this one. And so it's just a lot of circles punched um, and a few cameras cut out and a few of those flowers you can see off to the left there um, that came from that floral print that I trimmed out. And then I just wanted to create these circle embellishments that I'm going to use on that left hand side of the page over the green. So it's quite a bright green and the idea is you know to give it a bit of color in the background but I'm going to tone it down by adding these particular um, embellishments sort of scattered down the page and so I just start thinking about where they're going to go and the idea with these is just to break up the color and the um, and the design a little bit so I don't want you know too many cameras next to each other I don't want too many of the same color next to each other that kind of thing so just looking at spreading that out at the moment and I don't adhere these till the very end um, but it's more just having them in place so I can see how the page is coming together I'll swap a few of those around and um, yeah just playing around with it a little bit to see how it will go so I think the last one that I did 
the layout similar to this instead of cameras you know had uh, teacups as the uh, the main accent down the page so it was something a little bit different but uh, quite like the idea of those circles adding a little bit more interest to the page as opposed to another pattern paper or a plain background so just reaching for my uh, green glitter tape now which I'm going to use to sort of mark out where my clusters of embellishment are going to go um, and I also cut a little banner in each of the the pieces of glitter tape that I stick down just to create that little bit more interest. So you can see I'll cover up a fair bit of those love hearts but it, as I said it was really more just to create the background. Um, the other little embellishment that I have is some felt pink love hearts that were cut using um, I think it was an Amy Tan die but uh, you could punch them out or you know however you wanted to cut those hearts. And then I've also got uh, to the right there some phrase um, pieces that have been cut out of a Chamel um, 12 by 12 piece. There was one in her collection that had loads and loads of phrases on it and I've just cut it to bits using it on a lot of different layouts as opposed to, you know, sticker phrases and things like that. So I did also create these three little circle embellishments similar to the ones that are on the left but these were for the sort of you know key areas that I was going to embellish um, and they're a bit smaller in size so it was more just um, you know creating something that matched that left hand side of the page but probably wasn't as bold in its design and so I'm just adding the glitter tape to that bottom right where I'm going to add some extra embellishment and then I'll decide which um, circles are going to go where so each of the banners has sorry each of the glitter tape areas has a little banner finish to it just so there's a little bit of consistency there and then we're going to add those um, circles to each of those areas as well and I've just um, stapled those little love hearts onto each of the different embellishments and you'll see me do that shortly at the top left cluster where I'll um, use my stapler to adhere that. So just using some dimensional adhesive there to add those pieces in place and then um, with these word phrases because the embellishment has dimension I will only use it on one side that's not going to be sitting over the top of the embellishment and then I'll just use um, the tape runner to adhere it to the top of the embellishment so that it sits nice and flat and um, yeah sort of fits in with the rest of the embellishment so just adding those phrases up the top as well um, and the same concept putting dimensional adhesive on one side side and um, the tape runner on the other and then just looking at that last spot so I'm going to actually add it running off the page and then I will um, trim that off eventually just sticking that down and this is where I use my um, stapler to just hold that love heart in place. It is quite an old stapler um, so it probably doesn't do a great job at um, getting through all those particular layers um, so you'll see me fiddling around trying to just close the back in properly um, but it works so that's the main thing. So I just need to um, add that phrase there and then I'll trim off the, the top of that as well. And then I do try and look for additional embellishments. I don't know if you can see to the far left there, I've got some chipboard stickers that I um, used on the opposite layout that I thought I might be able to get onto this one as well, just so that it would create a bit of um, consistency across the two pages. Um, and I, But I don't end up using any of those. And also I've got the um, flare badges from Chamel Starshine collection that I... Um, end up using a couple of. So I'm just looking at these chipboard stickers now and I was thinking about using some of those words in the title um, but I don't end up using any of them at all. I just decided to pop them off to the side but I did spend a bit of time trying to play around with that. Um, and then yeah I'll grab those flare badges as well as the next port of call and see where I can add a little bit more interest and layering to the little embellishment clusters that are there because they're quite simple at the moment. Um, so just looking at 
which flare badges will go where. Generally I either use one or three in the little clusters but this time because that cluster at the top left is quite small I decided it didn't really need a flare badge um, and we, I just end up adding them to the two on the right hand side of the photo but just playing around with where that best fits at the moment. Looking at the other one as well. So um, I do end up cutting a bit of the end of this video so I haven't adhered those um, embellishments, handmade embellishments down the left hand side yet and you won't see me do that in the video but you've got a rough idea of where they'll be placed and you'll get to see the still shot at the end. Um, I just pull the thickers out and I start playing around with um, spelling out the second half of the two page title um, and I do end up moving those around as well but I you end up putting in that um, that original and symbol that I had at the beginning um, in front of the word and I get rid of the thicker that with the end symbol so you'll see that the still shot at the end um, so you get to see a couple of still shots the first couple will be of the original page and then you'll get to see a still shot of the final layout that I'm working on now so I hope you enjoyed this video um, thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more videos like this please do subscribe to my channel and um, yeah thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it